Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing great. In today's video, yes, we got a brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer earlier on today, a 14 minute long trailer. We got a bunch of information, probably not as much as what I thought we were going to get, but we're going to break everything down. We got a bunch of new Pokemon revealed, even though it wasn't quite obvious, that we're going to talk about as well as everything else in the trailer, and I'll just give you my input and opinions on everything that was unveiled today. Very exciting though, it's always nice to get a new trailer, so without further ado, let's hop over and jump into it. So it starts off by going into four trainers' journeys throughout the Paldea region, and so we get a bit of a glimpse at some different gameplay that we haven't seen before, and this particular clip is really interesting. We see the Quaxley, it's level 15 using aqua jet does about eighth of damage i don't know like not very much damage maybe like 20 percent damage and then it goes for the terrestrialize and then we are able to see the damage on top of this now for competitive it pretty much in my opinion confirms that the terrestrial transformation gives you that same type attack bonus on top of the same type attack bonus stab bonus that you already get look at the damage here you can see the damage is pretty much just about doubled so i would say unless they've changed the stab from 1.2 in these games then it looks as though terrestrializing gives you a 1.2 stab boost on top of the stab boost that's already there then we go into another clip here and we see a shining pokemon in the wild we're going to see how we're going to be able to interact with wild pokemon that do have a, a terror type as well so they terrestrialize as soon as you kind of encounter them in battle i do love the the catch mechanics as well in this game they look so nice get a bit of an overview of the pokemon screen as well here see the different overlays where you've got the terror type identified as well as its regular type and then it goes on to confirm as well that you are 100 percent able to get every pokemon with one of the 18 types as its terror type then a bit of a feature on the let's go mechanic as well showing it how it works in battle and you can see in the little overlay down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen that if your pokemon that you send out on that let's go uh, feature it goes and battles wild pokemon it goes and picks up items but then this icon kind of appears with the pokemon that you're using the let's go facility with so that's kind of nice and i do like the little overlay that it's got there get to see a facility with a map and bringing in something a feature that was used in pokemon legends also is the the pins that you can drop around the the region so you can get around traverse the areas a lot easier and make sure that you're heading to the right areas that you want to be going to then we move on to starfall street and see a bit of team star a bit more of team star the kind of task that you're gonna have to do is just go in and beat a bunch of pokemon but you can use the the let's go feature to to do this also, it's interesting as well here that we see in Wiglet, and this is really early on in a trainer's kind of story, I guess, because their Pokemon are low level, meaning Wiglet's going to be probably available to catch quite early on in your playthroughs. And then we get to see the, the truck Pokemon and a pre-evolution of it as well. If we just skip back a little bit here, you can see as it's coming out, there we go. You can see just down here, right here, uh, that it's, it's probably it's pre-evolution of that's what it's been touted at this Pokemon here this is definitely a Pokemon I don't know if it's part of the engine or if it's a pre-evolution or a, just a different the kind of one of the same Pokemon that goes into this car we'll have to find out at some point I'm sure but um, we do get to see the leader of Team Star that we already know about Mela is the person that you have to defeat Team Star in this situation. Now, this is an interesting part as well. They go into depth about TMs and how they're gonna work within these games. And you can see here, you go up to a Pokemon Center, one of these kind of gas station looking places. And within there is gonna be the technical machine machine is what they're calling it. And this is where you're gonna be able to craft TMs now in the game. They are gonna be one use only. So after one use, they will break, but you're gonna be able to find items around the Paldea region to use to craft these TMs. And you're also gonna to have to use a combination of league points, which it does detail on the Scarlet and Violet website, as well as other items. Like here, you can see to craft some of these, it's just gone over area lace here. You're gonna need Starly Feather and a Fletchling Feather uh, to be able to craft this as well as 800 league points, which I'm assuming you're gonna get through the game uh, as you go through uh, the different story modes. We don't know exactly how you're gonna get them yet, but you look at the, the trainer here in the top right-hand corner and there's 5,000 league points that they've got. So TMs do cost a little bit, but not really too much in comparison to league points. 
when you're doing this probably at a very early stage in your playthrough. But we get a bit more information about the TMs here and what you can buy. And I'm assuming that every different TM is gonna be, a, be available to craft at different Pokemon stations or Pokemon stops as you go around the region and they'll all kind of vary as you progress through the game using different items that you'll get the further you progress. So that's a, it's a different way I like kind of how you're able to craft them, but I don't like the one use. It's uh, coming from previous generations where they had unlimited uses. It's like a little bit of a step backward, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Then we get a bit more about Battle the Titan Pokemon and we get to see a little bit more about this new move, Terra Blast, which is gonna be a big part of the terrestrializing of your Pokemon. And uh, you can see some damage here with Icy Wind as an example onto the cloth. And it does decent damage to be honest. And then we do see the Drifflim Brassalize and then it turns into a grass type and uses Terra Blast. And you can try and work out what base power this is, but it does get stab on top of it. I'd still probably guess that it's about 60 base power. We don't really know what the stats are of Cloth at all, so it's kind of hard to gauge, but I think between 60 and 80 base power is where we're probably looking for Terra Blast. I wouldn't have said any more than 80. Then we get to the next juice of this trailer, as we see trainers trading from anywhere in their adventure around the Paldea region. One of them gets a giraffe rig, and if you've already been aware of the leaks, you'll know what is coming as this giraffe rig is about to evolve, but we didn't know the name of it, and uh, I'm gonna let the trailer say it before I say it. Seems like giraffe rig has evolved into Ferrigaraf. Ferrigaraf is what giraffe rig evolves into. Ferrigaraf. That's gonna be a way harder one to remember for me. At least, I don't know. I don't know what you think. I like the name. It's kind of a playful, isn't it? You get to see Artisan, a new town. This is gonna be all about Victory Road story, the gym leader story as well. So that's gonna be good. And we get a bit more of a glimpse at the, the gym leaders. Not really much revealed here. The gym leader that we see has already been revealed. We do get confirmation that you're gonna to have to do gym challenges before you actually take on the gym leaders, which is a gym test, essentially. I'm not the biggest fan of a gym test. I prefer just to kind of go into a gym, battle a bunch of trainers, battle the gym leader, and then get my badge. The kind of prelim stuff that you've got to do before you can even get into a battle, it's, I'm not the biggest fan of. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on it. Oh, always feels a little bit faffy to me, and it, I just want to get into the gym and battle, you know? Let me get a little bit of a showcase of terrestrializing again with the gym leaders, making sure that, you know, they are going to be able to terrestrialize their Pokemon. Uh, they'll probably be based on certain types, their terror types based on the gym i would imagine from leak information that we've had that's pretty much uh, how it, it looks like it's going to go fiddle does go for terrestrializing as well just to show an example of defensive play when you can you know transform into a type that resists something that your opponent's hitting you with to show you the capabilities of it on that side as well so it's just an example of how that works next up is a big part of the trailer as well it goes into the customization of characters which is pretty huge there looks like there's a lot of options here for trainers to go in and be able to customize their own character a lot more than we have done in previous games which is pretty cool you know it's always something that a lot of players really do value within the games and you know i like messing around with it myself to get your character looking exactly like you want and just having that bit more customization in the games is going to be even even better it gives it a bit more of an immersive feel so you can see the trainers as well have access to a kind of a selfie picture facility so you can design your own trainer card and interesting to see the things on the trainer card as well and you can see the options here you've got badges collected so three here you've got the paldea pokedex so how many you've caught and it kind of does clarify 100 confirm that shiny pokemon will be in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Recipes collected as well, so that's in regards to the next part of this trailer, which we'll get into in a second, and then your total playtime. So it's just a standard trainer card. It's just got some information that elaborates a little bit more on some of the facilities in the game. So next part is gonna be picnics. Picnics are gonna be a huge part of this game, I feel. Uh, you're gonna be able to do a bunch of different interactive things with your Pokemon in these picnics. You can wash them, you can clean them, restore their HP while they're doing that, and probably affection as well, so, so you can evolve them through friendship and things like that. It's gonna be done probably in this picnic facility. Obviously here you can play around with your Pokemon, and this is pretty huge as well. It does show a clip here of the trainer playing with its Pokemon, and then going to the basket at the table, 
and as you can see the text here there's a pokemon egg inside do you want to take it so i don't know whether this is going to 100 percent replace like a daycare center where we would normally have uh, a place where we can put two pokemon in and then they produce an egg for breeding especially this is good for breeding shiny pokemon breeding competitive pokemon they've been huge key cornerstones in uh, pokemon generations in the past whether they're changing that mechanic going forward and this is how you obtain pokemon how you breed pokemon through some sort of mechanic when you're playing with certain pokemon in the picnic area and then you get your eggs this way be interesting to see i don't know if it will replace it or if this will just be an additional thing where if you get an egg from a picnic basket it's got an increased chance to have like perfect ivs or uh, increased shiny chance or a better terra type or something along those lines it'd be interesting to see how that kind of plays into scarlet and violet and the picnics and things that are going forward but let me know is it going to replace the daycare center or is it just going to be an additional feature and part of this whole picnic paper that we're seeing right now and then it's sandwich time so we head over to cook and mama over at subway here and uh, we make sandwiches and these are replacing what would be curries in sword and shield yeah so this is it and you know it's interesting because as soon as i saw this i was like from that first trailer that when it pans around the room, the very first trailer announced in Scarlet and Violet there was that baguette on the table. Reference, reference right here. So yeah, you create these. These are gonna be your recipes that you collect, I guess, along the way that are on your trainer card that we saw a little bit earlier. And I'm guessing different sandwiches will reward different things in game, as you can see. You're going to get a boost to catching power for fairy, uh, encounter power for grass, and then raid power for ground. So you're going to boost all of these things that will play into how you experience other aspects of the game as well. The other interesting thing here is as well, I forgot to mention this. In the cooking, if we see when we go into this, I just want to come back to, let's say, here. Okay, down here on the left is a Paldean Whooper. Paldean Whooper, remember this. Now, when they're cooking, can we call sandwich making cooking? When they are making the sandwich or baguette, however we're calling, keep an eye out for the Pokemon when they decide to eat it. Because this is kind of interesting, right? We did see it. That is a regular whooper here. So whether or not this is just a glitch with this footage, obviously it's not final footage, it is just promotional footage, but it is part of the game. So interesting to see that there is a regular whooper here although in the picnic area it was 100 percent a paldean one so i don't know two different scenes potentially uh whoever was doing the trailer playing the games may have had a tough time doing that initial sandwich but it may confirm that the the the, the native the original whooper is in these games as well as a paldean one so that is interesting something i just picked up on when i was watching it next it goes into a bit more court play and goes into a terror raid there's not really too much we could need to talk about in regards to terror raids we know that when you go into a terror raid you're going to be able to find pokemon with more rarer terror types um, I think these uh, this feature is going to be really cool. We have raids in Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, but they're going to be very similar. It looks like they're more real time though in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is uh, something that's been pointed out before. And uh, you can see this is a Chansey with its Ghost Terra typing. And all you need to do is to defeat it in battle, and then you'll be able to catch it. There's not really too much more in this that I'm going to really discuss because we know pretty much most things about the Terra raids. So uh, I'm just going to skim through this because this is pretty much all information that we know about with cheering and stuff stuff like that and i think this comes to the end of the trailers here that's it and that is it there is not much more for us to see here so that is pretty much the entire trailer there so that pretty much rounds up everything that we got today but there is a bit more information that was hidden within these trailers and we'll just talk about them now there is this picture that was pulled up this is actually on lutu's twitter page uh, it was posted a bunch by different people but i'm using this image in particular it does show a brand new pokemon here and this was followed up by riddler Koo on his twitter account and he identifies this as pre-evo so it is going to be confirmed it's a leak but confirming that it is a pre-evolution of um, Cerulege or uh, Armor Rouge 
one of the two new Pokemon that we've got in the games as well. So this is the pre-evolution of this Pokemon. So that's pretty cool that it was just danced over in the trailer. The next one that we got as well, because it wasn't just one, there was quite a few, is this bug sort of Pokemon here. Now you can kind of see through the overlaid text here, there is something in the background here when this trainer is taking a selfie. You can't really get a clear picture of it, but it's definitely an Easter egg left in the trailer for people to find. And then obviously as well, um, Riddler Koo posted an image of it moving round on loop. So you can get a bit of a better picture of it here on, on this screen where you can see it kind of moving around. So I don't know what it is, but it's kind of interesting and it's definitely a bug type Pokemon, whether or not it's a spider type, uh, who knows. And the final bit of information was this map overlay, which does show off three new Pokemon. It confirms that Rooka D, Corviknight are gonna be in the games as well, but it does show these three other new Pokemon here. We've got these mice Pokemon uh, here, which are kind of like a dual Pokemon, uh, which is really cool. They do have different forms as well. And then you've got this kind of parakeet Pokemon as well, which we've not seen at all before now. And then this mushroom looking Pokemon, which is who knows what it is, but it looks very cool and I definitely wanna use one. But these are kind of hidden away in the trailer as well. As we were going through the trailer, we kind of pointed out this part of the kind of the vehicle Pokemon that we uh, saw from Team Star. So we've already talked about that one, but these Three Pokemon here with that Rookie D, super interesting and weird that they kind of just had them in the trailer but didn't elaborate on them, you know? We're only a month out from the game's dropping, so it was interesting that they didn't really touch upon them at all, but that's from Blaze and Cinero who uh, collated all of that information. We got a lot of things unveiled in today's trailer, but we are left with a bunch more questions. I would love to hear your thoughts on everything that was revealed in today's trailer. I was uh, unfortunately at work today when the trailer dropped, so I couldn't do any live reaction or kind of get anything up quickly, but I did want to put my two cents on what we've seen today. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all for another video very soon. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night.